in the life of the organization and that serve as the basis for determining priorities with regard to the way uh, time, people, space, information, and technology are allocated. So if I was to put that into just regular words, I would say, you know, what are we about? Who are we? What are we going to do? Okay? Uh, and, and really, our core business is this. Our core business is to produce work that engages students. Work that is so compelling that students persist when they experience difficulty. And that is so challenging that they have a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction and be of delight when they successfully accomplish the task assigned. Now, there's a saying, uh, we're part of the Selective Center, and the Selective Center does not uh, advocate a program. There's no silver bullets in education. Uh, we're part of a complex social system, and we deal with real people in real time. They come from different different places. And as you, as you saw from the data, we have almost 70% of our kids that are, that are low socioeconomic. Uh, they come uh, from homes that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, their parents weren't educated. So I'm not, I'm not saying that to say that they don't value education. But personally, I know that firsthand because I or or bad anything. What we need to do is we need to get to the point where the work that we give kids engages kids to the point that they're learning what we want, what we need them to learn to achieve to a level that they're going to have authentic learning and authentic learning is occurring every day. And when we do that, when we work on the work that we give the kids on authentic work, then we will see scores go up. But when we work on scores, on standardized test scores, there is no child that is the same. Their kids are different. And when you do that, you gain the test. Okay? And, and, and authentic learning does not occur. Gaps still remain. So what, what we're working on here, and what our core business is here is, we want to produce work. When I say work, I'm talking about schoolwork that engages kids and kids that are different. Some kids are kinesthetic, some kids are visual, some kids may, may learn better by doing, some kids may do better by working in groups, some kids do better by uh, getting up and, and moving around. Kids are different, okay? So that is our core business, engaging kids. So these are the beliefs that underlie the work. The first thing is that we believe is that students are customers, volunteers, and knowledge workers. What they have to volunteer is their attention and commitment. Okay? And you know, a lot of people don't believe that. You know, here's what I say when, when we talk to teachers is that um, we have to get to the point where we, we know that we cannot force any child to give us their attention. We cannot force a child to give us their attention. We can't even force them to come to school. That's why we have truancy. And we send policemen that have guns to try to get them to come to school. And we still have absent kids. So what we need to do is get to know kids and build relationships with them. And when we build relationships with them, okay, then the, the, the child is going to find value in school. And they're going to want to be in school and they're going to find value and meaning in the work. And when they do that, then they're going to be engaged in the work. And then there's going to be authentic learning occurring. It's like all in any of us, whenever you're engaged in something, you're going to learn from that. OK? When you're not engaged in it, you're going to do it just because there's some extrinsic motivator. Now, we can try to trick kids, OK? But there's not any authentic engagement in it. But when there's authentic engagement in it, that's when there's true learning occurring in the classroom. Now, is it challenging? Is it, is it idealistic? Yeah. But I believe that it'll work because I've seen it work. Number one, I've seen it work in my life, and I've seen it work in other kids' life, lives, where, where they've become authentic, engaged students, and they've surpassed 
expectation because they, they've been engaged in the process of, of becoming students that, that love to come to school. The second uh, belief that underlies uh, working on the work is the primary role of teachers is that of designing, engaging work for students and guiding them to those sources of instruction they need to, to successfully do the work. So a teacher's job is to develop a relationship with the student, to get to know the student, so then they can design the proper work that matches that individual student. For example, I had, had, we were interviewing a, a teacher and she was trying to teach percentages. And she was teaching percentages and the kids just weren't getting it. And she said, this kid says, Miss, do you mean, are you talking about like, you know, I had, I had my uncle, he got thrown in jail. And the bond was set at $5,000. Do you mean that it's kind of like, like, you know, they had to put, we have to come up with five, uh, $500 and we have to come up with 10%? Is that what you're talking about? Is that percentages? And she said, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And she got it and she said, you know what? It's just that I didn't know where they came from. I was trying to teach them from the book that they had no clue that that was a percentage. And their life, it meant nothing to them. But then whenever they got, and then the, 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 whole, the whole class went, oh yeah, we know that, we know that. They knew what percentages were. So then she developed that sense of knowing their life and knowing where they came from, knowing their culture. And she was able to teach them percentages by getting to know them and designing lessons. Because the key here is learning. So we have to know our clientele. We have to know our kids. Our teachers need to know them and design work that engages them. Being more individualized for students. Exactly. Number three, differences in the level and type of engagement affect directly the effort that students expend on school-related tasks. So the type of engagement is going to directly relate to the type of energy that they put in the task that they put into the work that they do in school. It's a correlation. The engagement that they have correlates to what they're going to do in the classroom. Why do you think we have such a high dropout rate amongst Hispanic and black students? Now, I'm too brave enough to say that. And, and some people don't like hearing that. But I'm too brave enough to say that. And I say that because there's a huge disconnect in our school system because of the disconnect that we have. And it takes courageous people to recognize the fact and to say, school must change or else the challenges that we have will never go away. So the differences in the level and type of engagement affect directly the effort the students expend on school-related tasks. Kids don't drop out just because they're going to drop out. They made up their mind probably at, at the fifth or sixth grade, and they bide their time, and they cause problems for teachers, and they, they become absent because they've never become engaged. They never develop a, a meaningful relationship with a, an adult in school.